హలో వరల్డ్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు కోడింగ్ సైంటిస్ట్ డాట్ కామ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద మోస్ట్ యూనిక్ సిరీస్ జీరో టు హీరో సిరీస్ ఆన్ ఈఎస్పీ థర్టీ టూ ఈఎస్పీ ఎయిటీ టూ సిక్స్టీ సిక్స్ అండ్ ఈఎస్పీ కెమెరా మాడ్యూల్ ఆ రైట్ గాయ్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ లెసన్ వీ ఆర్ గో నో టేక్ అ లుక్ ఎట్ ఎట్ త్రీ యాక్సెస్ ఎంపీయు సిక్స్ జీరో ఫైవ్ జీరో సో దెర్ ఆర్ గోన్ బీ దెర్ ఇస్ గోన్ బీ కపుల్ ఆఫ్ లెసన్స్ కపుల్ ఆఫ్ వీడియోస్ ఐఎమ్ గోన్ బిల్డ్ అరౌండ్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ సెన్సర్ వన్ ఇస్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ వీఆర్ గోన్ హుక్ ఇట్ అప్ టు ద సర్కిట్ అండ్ ట్రై టు రీడ్ ద యాక్సిలరేషన్ అండ్ జైరోస్కోప్స్ అండ్ స్టఫ్ లైక్ దాట్ అండ్ దెన్ వీ విల్ ఆల్సో ట్రై టు సెండ్ ద అవుట్పుట్ ఇన్ టు ఓఎల్ఈడి అండ్ ఆల్సో వీ విల్ ట్రై టు stream those sensor data on the web so we will be accessing through the web browser and see how it works so you know uh, basically in this in this particular lesson i will show you how to use mpu 6050 6050 accelerometer and gyroscope module with the esp32 it's a small pretty small little chip and it's it just cost about 300 rupees you know and it, it it doesn't come along with the header pins it comes separate so you might want to you know plug it in and solder it it's those of you who are good in soldering or doing it for the first time it might be a little difficult because it's pretty tiny but if you are experienced in soldering it's it's going to be easy however you may also try to buy the mpo6050 with the header pins as well so you know that will be that makes more easy the the mpo 6050 IMU I what is IMU it's called inertial measurement unit it's basically a three axis accelerometer and three axis gyroscope sensor the accelerometer basically measures the gravitational acceleration and the gyroscope measures the rotational velocity right so i i know this topic might be a little complex for those of you who are just getting into robotics and stuff but over a period of time you will try to understand if you need more clarification in terms of how this entire physics works the accelerometer measures and uh, the gravitational acceleration and the gyroscope measures i will be happy to explain you about uh, rotational velocity and all those things in a different uh, session altogether probably one on one on the zoom call so do feel free i will give you pretty much hands on experience into that so basically this sensor is ideal to determine the orientation of a moving object that means when your bot when your robot is moving towards a particular direction you know if it it gets tilted or if it is towards upside downwards that's the orientation this particular sensor detects and sends the information to your mobile or you can take certain decision using your microcontroller and such like that in this case it's esp32 uh, powerful microcontroller we are using right now let's 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 take a look at in terms of what what exactly uh, this this particular sensor does for example if you look at the chart here you know as well as the sensor uh, picture with the pin pin out uh, drawing it's it's basically a module with three axis accelerometer and a three axis gyroscope as i mentioned earlier the gyroscope measures rotational velocity which is which is rad divided by s it's a different formula altogether i can explain in detail and this is the change of the act angular position over a time along with x y z axis that is called the roll pitch and yaw that that's the way it it is measured that's the way the movements are measured and that's why it's three axis and this basically allows us to determine the orientation of an object when i say orientation of an object for example let's assume this cell phone is a bot it's an object right or or maybe it's a bot which has got four different wheels so whichever the orientation the till the y the x axis the y axis and the z axis that is the roll rolling pitch and yaw so all these measurements the the velocity uh, the measurements are actually determined with the orientation of this particular object of of the bot and detects that particular information if you look at my arduino 33 ble sense lessons using tiny machine learning that particular chip that particular uh, uh, the microcontroller comes in built with nine axis accelerometer it's it's a pretty complex one it's all in built whereas here we are using a separate module altogether separate chip altogether 
ESP32 unfortunately doesn't have a inbuilt uh, uh, MPU or IMU. So basically the accelerometer measures the acceleration that is the range that is that is basically the rate not range is basically the rate of change of objects velocity. It basically senses the static forces like gravity or dynamic forces like vibration and movement right. So the static force gravity is, is, is always stagnant it, it's permanent it doesn't change right the gravitational force on the earth it remains same you you drop the cell phone it just goes down right that's it simple whereas the dynamic forces which keep changing is the vibrations or the movement right when your bot when your robot is moving the vibration might be sometimes it's less sometimes it's more and the movement is sometimes you know high speed low speed and kind of thing so basically the MPU 6050 measures the acceleration over x and y and z axis or z axis Ideally, in a static object, the acceleration over the Z axis is equal to the gravitational force. So that is how the calculation works. And it should be zero on the X axis and Y axis. Using the values from accelerometer, it is possible to calculate the roll and the pitch angles using trigonometry. Well, I am not going to get into that those details. It's going to get more complex. But for those of you who are into the hobby class, you know, want to build something pretty quick, this is the ideal lesson. You can pick it up. If you want to get into more details and hands-on, I'll be happy to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with you on the Zoom call and walk you through the details. All right. Now let's take a look at uh, the pin drawing, the pin out. It's pretty much uh, straightforward, guys. You know, there are about eight different pins in this particular chip, right? So the, the VCC pin is the, the power basically to power the sensor where, which either operates on 3.3 volt or you know 5 volt and there is a common ground one single ground and there is a serial clock pin for I2C communication which is basically your GPIO 22 pin of uh, ESP32 or you can we can actually use any of the GPIO pin it really doesn't matter I, in this particular lesson I used GPIO 22 for the clock pin and the SDA pin uh, the, 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 for, for the data interaction for I2C communication, I used pin number 21, the GPIO 21. Again, you can use any other pin, but you might have to change those pin in the code, in the C++ code. And then there is a XDA and XEL basically to interface to other I2C sensors with MPU 6050. If you are including some other sensors, you can parallelly connect to that, right? So for example, if we are connecting uh, say the OLED, it will communicate in the same serial. So SDA to SDA, SEL to SEL, which is what we are going to do right now. And AD0 uses the pin to change the I2C address. You can change from zero to another sector. And the interrupt pin, that is INT, which is the last pin here, if you see on, on, the, on the, just above me, which can be used to indicate that new measurement data is available, right? Now let's let's take a look at the circuit drawing guys. So go ahead and plug your OLED and uh, the MPU 6050 for OLED in one of the previous lessons I showed you how to download a specific library right. So I hope you guys are ready with that because without that library your OLED is not going to work in this lesson. So hook it up you know SDA to SDA, SDA of uh, MPU 6050 to SDA of OLED and same way the serial clocks SEL to SEL and then both common will have a GPIO 21 of ESP32 and GPIO 22 of ESP32 and then there is a common ground and common VCC which is 3.3 volt which is what we will be using for this particular lesson. All right. Now let's take a look at uh, in terms of what kind of library we need to install for this particular lesson. So we have to, so th there are basically, uh, you know, there are, there are different ways to read, get the readings from the sensor. So in this lesson, we will be using Adafruit uh, MPU 6050 library, which is a standard library comes along with the Arduino uh, repository. So to use the library, you can also you also need to install a unified sensor library, which is the bus IO library. So basically we will use 
two different libraries here so let's take a look at it so let's go to let me open up my ide and uh, give me a second guys i hope you guys can see my screen now what we need to do go to sketch okay before going to sketch make sure that your uh, esp32 is connected to the port and select the right com port go to sketch and then include library go to manage libraries you will get the pop-up window let it refresh let the list get refreshed for a few seconds and then here you can type add a fruit mpu6050 like this and it should pick it up can you see it here it says mpu6050 it is installed because i had already installed it and let's go to more info again i would highly advise go ahead and read through this documentation guys it's it's a it's a knowledge right it's a knowledge you need to understand what this library does and stuff like that it's very important so go ahead and take a look at their uh, github uh, the adafruit mpu6050 github link that's the link which takes you through there are detailed explanation about this particular library about their bus and uh, the gfx uh, library the driver boards everything is combined into that so go ahead and read and try to understand how it works it's really good all right once it is installed then what we need to do there is another library let me just take a look and uh, that library is called adafruit bus io okay it's called adafruit bus io adafruit type bus oops what is this bus input output let's check there you go so this is the adafruit so once you get in here you will get an install button you need to click that install button it's going to install again it, it's always good to go ahead and read this click the more info button it's going to take you to adafruit underscore bus io there are ton loads of examples sketches and there's a details about the helper library about how to abstract i2c to spi you know there are ton loads of information so go ahead and read this guys it's very important so go ahead and install these two libraries once you have installed right what you need to do go ahead and go to my github this is my github account i will leave the link below this particular video so go to esp32 esp32 cam section of my github account and then there is a code there's a file called imu underscore oled dot ino so click on that all right and go to raw now i am going to select all control a all right control a copy and open up your arduino ide i am going to delete this base and then paste it here once you paste it i'll be happy to explain all these codes line by line structure by structure though there are a couple of uh, you know explanation comments put in here but you know if you want more details about the syntaxes and stuff like that i am conducting a one on one session for many students already who have already registered with me do feel free to leave me a message reach out to my whatsapp or telegram or through any of my social media i will be happy to schedule a one on one to walk you through the lines of codes one by one line by line and make you an expert so go ahead and uh, copy this code guys and what you need to do go to tools select your com port my com port is com port 12 so yours might be different all right and then again go to tools go to the board and come to esp32 arduino in this the board which i am using is do it esp32 dev kit version 1 so that is the board now we need to hold the boot button 
i hope you by this time you are very clear how to do that click hold the boot button i am going to click upload make sure that the boot button is always all right let me save it make sure that you are you are holding to the boot button tight and uh, upload before uploading you need to click the boot button do not release the boot button for now it's compiling it's compiling it takes couple of minutes for some reason esp32 takes takes a while all right it's getting uploaded let's give it a minute make sure that your address is correct ox uh, 0x3c in in the previous lesson i showed you how to change it right so you, you can go to the serial monitor to read and detect your i2c and whichever it says it says 0x3c copy that and put it here so that's very important it's compiling still so far there is no error which is good which is a good thing compiling sketch still uploading connecting to port why it is not writing it should write let me press this again all right now it is writing all right uploading done good now once the uploading is done guys most important every project you build on esp32 or esp32 cam which is going to come along we need to press the enable button en button to you know now let's let's open up the serial monitor on the right and then there is nothing no data but if i click on the en button en there you go it's reading the gyroscope and the acceleration wow it's amazing and i can see the reading is happening on the o led as well so let me just switch over to give me a second so you can see it on the serial monitor it's printing and the same value is getting printed on the o led as well so if i move the gyroscope the mpo6050 left and right and pitch yaw and roll the value is obviously changing on the serial monitor and o led as well let me show it to you give me a second there you go i hope you guys can see it it's it should be clear enough can you see it i'll just tilt all right i can read the values can you see it guys on on the oled if you can see the the gyroscope and the acceleration value is getting reflected it's getting printed on the oled which is good if i change the orientation pitch yeah and the roll all right that is good which is good it it's working perfect guys it's it's working fantastic all right so that's that's uh, all about it go ahead and hook it up your circuit and follow this particular lesson try to understand uh, the library how it works try to understand the code if you don't understand the code obviously i'll be very happy to help you one on one and take uh, you know one on one sessions on zoom or whatsapp or whichever the more you feel you know you'll be comfortable with and uh, keep building your skills guys it's very important i'll be back soon in the next lesson we will be using similar circuit and try to post all the sensor data into a dashboard kind of uh, profile on the web we are going to activate the mpu 6050 on the web it's going to get really interesting see you soon goodbye